Jasper and Abby and the Great Australia Day Kerfuffle. Today was a special day. Everyone at the lodge knew it. Jasper the cat knew it. Even Abby the dog knew it. Once she woke up, it was Australia Day, and there was going to be a big party. Farmers were arriving from all over the country, and Abby was there to welcome them. She never seen so many people or so many yummy food. A little girl named Lottie and a little boy named Sam brought their best and biggest mangoes all the way from Mapleton. They also brought their scruffy little dog Chewy, who promised to be on his best behaviour. There were cherries from Young, apples from Gippsland, and Tasmanian salmon from Well, Tasmania. There was barramundi from Broome, bush tomatoes from Ten Tennant Creek, and South Australian sausages. The nannies from Nambour had spent months knitting a huge Australian flag to be hauled up the flagpole later that day. The, and the best cake maker in Canberra had baked an enormous but Australia Day cake with coloured icing all green and gold. Everyone was excited, none more so than Chewy. The Marquis! yelled the event manager. The Marquis! yelled the farmer. What's a Marquis? wondered Abby. Then she looked around. Oh, it was a big, big tent and it was falling down. The sausages! yelled the manager. The sausages! yelled the farmer. The super special sausages have been snaffled. The Marquis was down. The sausages were gone. It was one big kerfuffle, and everyone was looking at Abby. But how did this happen? Luckily, Jasper was keeping an eye on things. He knew today was a very important day, and he couldn't let anything go wrong. Yes, it was time to go to work. Jasper took a close look at the security screens. It wasn't Abby causing the kerfuffle, it was a scruffy little dog. And things were about to get worse, a whole lot worse. It was time for action. Jasper was off like a flash. Come on Abby, we have to save the cake. Splat! The farmer gasped. The cake maker fainted. The manager roared. Jasper and Abby, upstairs now. Meanwhile, the guests were arriving for Australia Day. Ambassadors from Africa, nanas from Nambour, farmers from the country and artists from everywhere, including a dance troupe from Darwin, all waiting to raise the flag for Australia Day all having a lot of fun, all except Jasper and Abby. But Jasper was still on the job. He looked over the crowd. And what do you think he saw? There was a loose thread hanging from the flag and a scruffy little dog about to pounce. Abby and Jasper were off and racing, past the busy manager, through the farmer's legs, over the box of blackberries. Chewy, called Lottie. What are you doing, called Sam. The nanas from Nambour noticed the kerfuffle. Save our flag, they cried. Quick, Abby, said Jasper. You nab Chewy and I'll save the flag. Well done, Jasper, said the PM. Well done, Abby, and well done, Lottie and Sam. He bent down to the scruffy little dog. Hello, Chewy. Are you a new friend of Abby and Jasper's? It's great to share Australia Day with you. The manager was happy. The farmers were happy. The nanas from Nambour were very, very happy. But Jasper and Abby were the happiest of all. This story was inspired by the real-life dog and cat 
who lived at the lodge with Prime Minister and his family. Visit JolinaStories.com and thanks for listening and also stay tuned.